1969 was certainly an offensive year for the Alabama Crimson Tide. This is Bama whipping Southern Mississippi 63 to 14. It was a Tide team that would average 33 points a game during the season. Alabama coach Barry Bryant had a sophomore running back from Birmingham named Johnny Musso. He would pace the Tide in rushing with 516 yards on his way to a career total of more than 2,700 yards on the ground. It was passing though, but accounted for most of the Bama offense. A strong arm junior, Scott Hunter, would throw the ball for 2,188 yards in 1969. That's second best in Bama history. Hunter had a couple of Mississippi born receivers, George Raniger and David Bailey. Bailey led the 69 Tide with 56 catches for 781 yards. Raniger would average more than 20 yards every time he caught the football. On the first Saturday of October, the Tide would run into the Ole Miss Rebels, led by one of the Southeastern Conference's all-time great quarterbacks, Archie Manning. He racked up more than 1,800 yards in total offense in 1968, and through just two games in 69, Archie had already passed for 191 yards and run for 154. Coach Johnny Vaught had a talented core of receivers, led by Floyd Franks, who'd wind up his career as a member of the Rebels Team of the Century. Archie and Ole Miss, Scott and Alabama, they were set to play the shootout at Legion Field, one of Bama's greatest games. Alabama Sports Network and the Paul W. Bryant Museum present Bama's great Alvin Samples and Mike Dean to midfield to meet with the Ole Miss captains, Hap Farber and Joe Blunt. We have an 8.35 kickoff here at Legion Field. ABC TV's doing a game. Network brass don't want to do anything to disrupt their top show, Lawrence Welk. Alabama wins the toss, elects to receive. Ole Miss will defend the North goal. Here's King to kick it off for the Rebels. This one goes all the way to Bubba Sawyer at the goal line. He heads upfield and Sawyer makes it out to the 23. The Hunter with the ball. Hit from behind, gets the pass off to Jilliba. Jilliba gains only two yards on the play to the 37. Claude Herod. Hits Scott Hunter from behind as we look at the huddle for Alabama with the 100 years of football symbol on the side of that crimson helmet. And in the lineup now is Pete Moore, number 42 at fullback. So now Bear Bryant has two fullbacks, Moore and Jilliba, 42 and 32. And now it's a third down and nine. Hunter. David Bailey gets his second reception of the night in traffic. He now has helped to move the tide to the Mississippi 47. Let's watch him now as he starts down the field. And the safety man was to the wide field at the bottom of the screen. You can see him as he turns on the inside hook pattern. He's well covered, but the ball was so accurately thrown that there was no way of containing Bailey on the play. Hunter completing 75% of his passes going into this game is now three for three with a first and 10 at the Mississippi 47. And power runner Jilliba, number 32, gets deeper into Ole Miss territory. His forward progress was stopped at about the 41. That's a six yard gain for the fullback, bringing up a second and four as Larry Thomas made the tackle. Mississippi changing their defense from the 5-2 to the 4-4. They'd prefer to be in the 5-2 if they expect to run the 4-4 when they expect to pass. All right, bud. But her husband is a split end of the near side. The flanker is Raniger, 88. Good defensive play on Johnny Nusso. Mississippi's number 70, Buzz Morrow, and 78, Claude Herod, make the stop. And as you see, the ball is spotted at the 42, and Musso, who has been a sensational ground gainer for Alabama now, has lost a yard on each of his two carries, which brings up a third down and five. There's Hunter. 
Bailey is to the far side. And Bailey now has caught another. It appears that the Alabama is looking at the shift in the defensive secondary. Cannon has been going to the bottom of your screen, which leaves him with a one-on-one -on -one situation at the top of the screen. Let's look at it again in isolated camera. Number 39, Ray Heidel, covering against Bailey. And as you can see, it's a straight one-on-one -on -one situation in the inside pattern. Cannon coming up from the free safety to make the tackle, but no one in front to stop the pass. All right, from the 30 of Mississippi, Alabama, first down. And the first year varsity man, Musso, from Birmingham, is caught quickly by Larry Thomas, number 41 of the Ole Miss defense, at about, let's call it the 25 yard line. Pick up a five, so it's second and five as you see a final. Texas AM beating Army. A final, Boston College over Tulane, 28 24. Princeton beating Columbia, 21 7. Larry Thomas is the middle guard. When your middle guard has got speed enough to run the halfback down in the flat as he did that time, you have the person on your knee. You so trying to get five more yards necessary for first down here at Legion Field in Birmingham. Charlie Ferguson and Richard Grammer did the blocking. Let's take a look play again in slow motion. It's a little trap. You can see the guard pulling to the left of the screen. Number 62, Ferguson. Musso hit by the linebacker and also by the defensive tackle recovering. Back live now. They need less than a yard for the first down and they get it. Musso. A fourth first down for Alabama in this drive against Southern Mississippi last week. The first eight times they had the ball. They scored. They scored 10 of 11 times as they down Southern Mississippi 63 to 14. They beat Virginia Tech earlier 17 to 13, while Ole Miss beat Memphis State 28 to 3, but lost to Kentucky 10 to 9. And now the ball is at the 17 yard line. First and 10. They caught them in the 4 4, and the trap works beautifully against it. And he runs nice and low. Musso, 22. Again, slow motion here. Beautiful trap play. Look at Ferguson come across to make the trap. Musso cutting behind. See number 72 coming across. Wilder to make the trap. On the linebacker. And Joe Blount recovers from his outside linebacking position to pull Musso down on about the four-yard line, five-yard right. line. It's first and goal to go at the five for Alabama. And looking in battle. Climbing over, folks. Number 22, Johnny Musso, 5'11", 193 pounds. That's Gillibut, 32. As we mentioned uh, before the game, when Alabama gets inside the 10, they like to go to the Y formation and run the inside belly play, which they just used on the last down. They'll probably come out of the same set again. This will be the 14th play, ladies and gentlemen, in this drive, which started at the 20. Second and goal to go from the two. As you see, one yard line with a third down and goal to go is Glenn Cannon. Build the gap, joined by Claude Harrod. There you see the down sign on the far side of the field. They we're in the first quarter with eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining. No score in the ball game. Alabama now sends Bailey to the far side. Split very, very wide. A wishbone tee. Touchdown, Russo and Alabama. Watch it again in slow motion. The inside fake to the fullback, Jilliba. The handoff outside to Musso. He dives over and battles his way into the end zone for the touchdown. Great effort. That is Musso's fourth touchdown of the year. Capping a 77-yard march on the 15th play. The point after now is Mike Dean. Up and good. 8.19 to go in the first quarter. Timeout at Legion Field in Birmingham where the score is Alabama 7, Mississippi nothing. America's railroads. Who needs them? You do. 
Alabama has just used up six minutes and 41 seconds on the clock to drive 77 yards with the point after they lead seven to nothing 819 to go as we have the deep receivers 27 felts of Mississippi Vernon Studdard number 81 on the far side waiting Richard Simonese kick he is the placement kicker for Alabama it's a nice high kick it is Leon Feltz moving out to the 15 for Mississippi then across the 20 and down at about the 26 yard line the kicker Richard Simony CIE MNY makes the tackle and Ole Miss has the ball for the first time and we get the first test of the Alabama defense uh, Alabama will be playing a 5 2 with a rover they'll adjust it to a 4 4 they will be using eight men very close to the line of scrimmage most of the time on early downs they have a flank and a split end. The uh, wing goes into motion now as Archie Manning calls signals. Back to pass on first down. Ooh, over the outstretched arms of Leon Feltz of Winona, Mississippi, number 27. So uh, both teams opened with passes, but uh, hey. Scott Hunter opened with a beauty. Uh, Archie Manning wasn't quite as fortunate. The use of the wingback coming in motion is to try to have the rover back be on the wrong side of the field. The linebackers have to adjust. He can't quite go that far with him. However, the pass was slightly overthrown. Wimpy went there now. Centers the ball to Archie Manning on second and ten from their own 26. A fine pass to Jim Poole. Look at him. Number 89. He is 6'5", 218 pounds, a sophomore. And the real interesting part from all of our standpoint is the fact that he's the son of Jim Buster Poole, one of the Mississippi coaches, and his uncles, Barney and Ray Poole, were great football players for the Rebels. There's the backfield, Manning, Riley Myers, the wing back, 86, 22, Bobo in the fullback, and Phelps, 27. Third down now. Third and about two. They got it. Ole Miss with a first down. Floyd Franks, number 87, from Biloxi. Hit by Mike Dean, number 26. Let's watch it again in slow motion. You can see the Alabama defense had eight men up on the line, three men in the secondary. Franks is wide open, of course, as he hooks in front of the defensive halfback. Third and two. You're quite certain you're not going to get double coverage out there if you have courage enough that you can complete the pass. Lloyd Franks at the top of your screen, number 87, on first and 10 from their own 44. Archie Manning. Ooh. A marker goes down as number 86, Riley Myers, may have been hooked by Tommy Wigan. And it's a break for the Mississippi offensive unit. And there's the signal, Jim Artley, interference. And I think, Chris, that uh, the Mississippi pattern here is certainly somewhat of a surprise to Alabama. They've had four offensive snaps. They've thrown four passes and Alabama expected them really to be running with the ball about half the time at least. Here's Archie Manning who's 2-4 losing his footing on nature's own grass. Floyd Franks had gone on a very very deep pass pattern. Single coverage by Mike Dean of Alabama. So it'll be a second down and 10. You know, Commissioner A.B. Tonto Coleman invites you to enjoy the centennial year of college football each week, as well as the Southeastern Conference game between Alabama and Mississippi. These fine young men with their performance on the field and in the classroom demonstrate that athletic success and academic excellence are not compatible. Okay. That was Randy Mead. From Mendel Hall, Mississippi, sophomore, 6'2", 192 pounds, number 24, that uh, carried on the play. The same trap up the middle that Alabama used so effectively to set up their touchdown. We have the third and 11 situation now, the first big down for Mississippi. Alabama made good on their two long, third down, long yardage plays on their first drive. Now we've got third down and 12 at the Alabama 46. Mississippi with the ball. Alabama leads seven to nothing. Randy Reed, after catching the pass, bud, lowered that head and shoulder and uh, drove right in for a little more. 
The Mississippi attack is based at the flanks. They like to run the sprint out pass. They like to run the option plays, which they haven't used yet. Then the passes into the flat, which have been very effective for them on this drive. Now Bud, just inside the Alabama 40. It's about fourth down and six. And when you get the tight, tough situations like this, one bad play, of course, is what knocks you out of the box. And Manning slipping was what kept them from sustaining the ball here. That's Mike Dean of Alabama awaiting Julian Fagan's punt. Julian, the 10th punter, ranked in the nation. Taking a Mississippi, then an Alabama bounce. And it is down. Let's call it the 14-yard line here at Legion Field. And a marker down on that last play as the players move back toward the line of scrimmage, which was the 40. At the Alabama 40, Mississippi with the ball. And Archie Manning is back out on the field, number 18. So Mississippi fans hold everything. They have new life here. Was it defensive holding? 523 remaining in the first quarter. Alabama leads seven to nothing. Driving from their own 23. 15 plays to score. About 70,000 fans are watching, as you are. As we look at uh, the linesman, NM Covet, and the referee, Jim Artley. And very carefully are reestablishing a measuring spot here at Legion Field mm -hmm. and the final Nebraska 42 Minnesota 14 today. Well this is one of the longest conferences and uh, I can hardly wait to see what the signal will be but <laughs> it's going to be a five yard penalty Chris for yes. offside and they wanted to be certain that they moved it just the precise five yards because it's now fourth down what would right. you say about a foot. Why it, it's a little Mm, I'd say a foot. Okay. Fourth down the foot instead of punting now. Mississippi going for it. At about the 35 of Alabama. They need a foot. And sophomore Randy Reed appears to have had that ball forward enough for the first down. Skip uh, Jernigan. There it is. First down for Ole Miss. And Rebel fans are cheering here. The third first down for Mississippi. Once again, uh, one of the frequently overlooked errors are penalties, and that five-yard penalty for offside sustained possession for Mississippi. Lloyd Franks now is to the near side of the field in the 33 first down. Manning. Ooh! And that's Lloyd Franks that we indicated was a split over here to the near side of the field, and Manning throws a bullet. Let's watch it again in slow motion. Franks down the field as Manning is printing out to the bottom of your picture. He slowed it up a little bit and took the outside break. Manning had cut up inside the end and was moving toward the line of scrimmage as he delivered this perfect strike. Franks catching the ball, making a great pivot to lose the halfback wagon and move the ball forward to the 10 yard line. And that ball is right on the 10, most of it just over the 10 with a first down. Manning. Manning carried a couple of Alabama tacklers, including um, uh, number 40, husband, and a good block was thrown by Bo Bowen, the fullback. He's done a great job on the defensive ends. That was a big play for Mississippi. First down in the 10 is supposed to be the hardest position on the field to score a touchdown because the defense is going to be packed in. Manning rolling out had the defensive secondary wondering was he going to throw but it was a sweep all the way as he cut inside the end. Well we're in Dixie. But now second down and goal. Alabama leads seven to nothing. This is Ole Miss with the ball and Manning is in there. Archie Manning has scored his fourth touchdown rushing and number 24 in white. Let's give him a pat on the back for a nifty block. There is Manning now and we have the possibility now of a tie ball game at 401 of the first quarter but the, one of the brilliant executions is the blocking as you said of Bowen knocking the end out that play usually is designed to go around the end they knock the end out cut up inside 
Perry King's stick is up and good. It's a deadlock. Let's watch it. 73 degrees in Birmingham. Let's watch it again in slow motion. As you can see the block right here, and Manning turning up inside on the quarterback sweep. It's really a quarterback off tackle play. The end comes across. They knock the end out instead of hooking him in. Uh, but this is a lot of fun doing this game. ABC and the NCAA combined to celebrate the centennial year of college football with timeout. The liberal system. An Ole Miss cheerleader on the shoulders of her colleague. Ole Miss has just scored, capping a 74 yard march. Ole Miss kicking off. Hinton kicking it over here. Out of bounds at about the 18 yard line. While they bring the ball back to the 35 for a re kick, let's pause for five seconds to allow our local stations this opportunity to identify themselves. Okay, back again at Legion Field in Birmingham. 405 remaining in the first quarter. If you just joined us, Alabama, first series of downs, went 77 yards and 15 plays to score. Then they kicked to Mississippi. And Mississippi drove from its own 26. Manning, the quarterback, scoring on the 11th play with the point after it's seven all. And now from the 35 because of the kick going out of bounds. Royce Hitt, number 91. We've had only one possession by each team, as Chris pointed out. Alabama taking six minutes and 41 seconds to score. All right, Bubba Sawyer comes up to the 15, the 20, the 25, and keeps rolling along to the 31-yard line. And now Alabama gets the ball for the second time as Doug Bridgers stopped Sawyer. He was joined by Elmer Allen, number 79, from Columbus, Mississippi. All right, we're looking at Alabama now. Scott Hunter has thrown four times, completing four. You can't get much better than that, can you? Mississippi defense has, of course, had a few moments to talk with their coaches. We'll see what changes they make in their alignment in an attempt to slow up the tide. From the 31 yard line, Scott Hunter of Alabama. Score tied. Ooh, a long. That was intended for Bubba Sawyer, number 27. He's a 9 7 sprinter, but Ray Heidel matched him stride for stride. All right, it'll be second down and 10 for Alabama at their own 31. And it appears that Alabama is going to, or Mississippi rather, is going to drop out a linebacker to the double wide flanker side. If they do this, the Alabama usual change of pattern is to run the triple option to that side. Scott Hunter, number 12 of Alabama. Ooh, a loose ball. Keith Gillibaugh. Madison, New Jersey, failed on the handoff. The ball comes back to the 28, a loss of three. It'll be third down and 13. Another final, California beating Rice today, 31-21. USC, 31, Oregon State, 7. Ohio State, 41, Washington, 14. And here at Legion Field in Birmingham, live color telecast on ABC. The 340 to go in the first quarter. It is tied, 7-all, as we have a... Procedure penalty against Alabama declined. And Scott Hunter is faced with his third situation of third down and long yardage. Bill Chafin is in the lineup for Alabama, number 31. 27 goes to the far side as we look at Bear Bryant. Quite enough. Less than a yard for the first down, despite a 12 yard advance to the 40. And that brings up a fourth down at the Alabama 40. With man for man coverage by the linebackers and the dividing of the two halfbacks, the screen is open up the middle as the line rush and the linebackers move to the flanks. Frank Mann is now punting for Alabama. The first punt of the night, and Mann. Kicks it back to the 10, the 11, out to the 15. 
And then the quickness of Alabama is there. Leon Feltz of Ole Miss catches that 48 yard punt and gets five yards on the return. With a timeout here at Legion Field in Birmingham, the score is Mississippi 7, Alabama 7. About life insurance, you're in good hands with Allstate. Very good hands. The city of Birmingham, Alabama went all out to build the million dollar press box and facilities for 70,000 spectators. Legion Field, as Ole Miss has it at their own 16, first down following an Alabama punt. Manny spun around for a very little gain. And it's obvious now that both Bob and Bryant, the coaches, had no problem getting their teams up for this rivalry because they are really going after the ball. And I believe that uh, Ole Miss felt that Alabama would be looking for the pass since they had used passes on their first drive so successfully. However, Alabama was in there tight, eight-man front, ready for the running play. No gain, second down and ten. In motion is Myers. Pretty play. Leon Feltz. A sprinter from Winona, Mississippi, brings it out across the 25, nearly up to the 30, bud. The halfback draw play off the sprint out fake. Uh, the sprint out uh, by Manning was instrumental in the completed passes on the first drive and also in scoring the touchdown. As the linebackers moved out, he simply dropped the ball off to Feltz. He found good running room inside. Five and five, first down. Scores, seven to seven. Manning. And Jim Poole, sophomore, getting his third baptism of battle, having uh, gone against uh, Memphis State, 28 to 3 victory, and then a loss to Kentucky, 10 to 9. As Manning of Mississippi has thrown six times, he's completed five, 55 yards. Hunter of Alabama, five of six with 51 yards, and the score is tied, seven, seven. Second down at about six. Manning getting that six foot three inch body lengthening with each stride and going to the Alabama 38 yard line. Let's watch it again with uh, Manning dropping back to throw. Bear Bryant was concerned about this. He reads the defense so well. Watch his offensive tackle here. Worthy McClure number 73 blocking. There's the rush. You can see the Alabama men using the stunt and there's McClure's great block. And here comes Manning, having seen that daylight. And now from the Alabama 38, first down for Ole Miss. And Leon Feltz closing in to the 33 with a six-yard gain as a marker is on the field. Wayne Rhodes and Woody Husband, number 40 of Nashville, made the stop. Five yards against the reps. Let's see the penalty here. Illegal shift in that backfield. That's the first Mississippi penalty. Uh, Alabama has had three, uh, two penalties rather, and at one time where they mishandled the ball. So the errors are now three on the Alabama side, one on the Mississippi side. And now Archie Manning, number 18, will try to move from the Alabama 43 with a first down and 15. Score tied, seven all. 54 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Nice fake. Manning in trouble. Safety valves it to Jim Poole, number 89, and Bill Blair, number 25, forced him out of bounds. Oh, what a reaction. <laughs> and uh, Jim was out of bounds at about the 44, so it'll be second down and 16 with the score tied, seven all, 43 seconds to go, first quarter. Hope you're enjoying the game wherever you are. Out of the far side, 87, Floyd Franks. Vernon Studdard, number 81. There's a flanker to the near side. Archie Manning. Lost one. Oh, Studdard, number 81, had beaten the defender, but that, as you saw, the pass was a little bit too long, and we see now what Johnny Vaught meant when he said number 18, Manning, could go with the long reach. He could throw 50 yards in the air. Alabama defense that time with a free safety man for man on the other eligible receivers. At the pep rally in Oxford. Uh, Let's take a look at it again. You can see how wide open he is. 
as the halfback beat, but the ball was overthrown. So it's third down. And 16, Manning. <laughs> 25, Bill Blair got his hand on that pass. That was a low liner. And uh, that brings up fourth down. Manning was trying to hit Stuttered. Number 81. And once again, the penalty broke up the momentum of the attack. Mississippi now in a punting situation. 29 seconds, first quarter, score tied, 7 all. And uh, we have Julian Fagan. Mike Dean is in the crimson jersey, if you're watching in color. There's Fagan. Gets it high. Dean calling for a fair catch, then lets it go. It's a touchback. It was Leon Feltz, number 27 in white, from Mississippi chasing the ball. 43-yard punt. NCAA college football. We're in the South. Birmingham tonight. Next Saturday, another renewal of a rivalry at the Cotton Bowl in Dallas. It'll be Texas against Oklahoma. One of the truly great collegiate rivalries played annually in Dallas. You see the Mississippi defense getting ready to move to the strong side. The linebackers, Blount going to the strong side, Brister to the short side each time. 5 2 set. All right, Sawyers to the far side from the 20 yard line. Scott Hunter. For once in a lifetime, get into this world. Footing that was not solid. His knee touched at about the 22, however. And the official was not in on the tackle. He was simply moving forward to the spot where Hunter's knee had touched the ground. Field in Birmingham at halftime the million dollar band of Alabama and a great band from Old Miss will be performing and our colleague Bill Fleming will be uh, helping you to enjoy it and uh, this football game boy it's one that uh, has both of us on the edge of our seats bud and uh, that's why it's so much fun each Saturday to go around and, and see the various colleges and the various conferences playing this great game that was started a hundred years ago. It's going to be very interesting to see how the defensive teams adjust in their attempt to stop two of the most potent attacks we've seen thus far this year. Well, we're awaiting the start of the second quarter, and uh, it'll be second down and eight at the 22 for the Crimson Tide. And once again, um, we have our uh, clock that has not hit the 15-minute mark, which, as you know, is the length of a period in football. And uh, until we get it back to 15, the second quarter will not start. Amazing the wires we're getting from the various alumni clubs all over the country that are meeting in the various cities watching the telecast. And we appreciate the fact that the reception is great. And we hope you're enjoying the game wherever you are. There's Johnny Vaught, the TCU All-American born in Olney, Texas, grew up in Fort Worth, and his 23rd season at Ole Miss. And what he's saying is, I can't believe it with the game going and that kind of momentum that the clock is not operating. Yes, we appreciate the fraternities and sororities with their signs that welcome America's number one network to Legion Field. And right now, uh, a message on behalf of Walter Byers, the executive director of the NCAA, congratulating the players named to the football writers' all-time teams. The honorees included Don Hudson, an Alabama end from 1932 through 34. A lot electrically. We uh, apparently, uh, they can't get the field clock fixed, so they're, they're going to keep the time on the field. All right. Beautiful pass to Musso. And the sophomore shows that he can catch passes. That's his third of the year. Beautiful Van Bender made the stop. Beautiful ball handling, great fake. From the 22-yard line, the ball is now out at approximately the 32. And let's see, we have a timeout 
I think the officials have taken a timeout, Chris, because it appears that the clock on the scoreboard is operating again, and they will move it forward to the amount of time left on the field watch. Incidentally, Johnny Musso on that last play was shaken up. He has been replaced. The tailback spot by Pete Moore. That's the field clock. At the So now the ball at the 37 yard line. First down for Alabama and Gillibut. Uh, recovered that loose ball. He uh, had to raise up and was hit hard at the 40 by Larry Thomas, the middle guard of the Old Miss defense. It's the Alabama version of the triple option. They call the play, don't know whether he'll give the ball to the halfback, the quarterback keep it, or the quarterback having faked to the halfback will pitch to the trailing halfback. They did almost fumble, as you pointed out. At the 41, second down and six, David Bailey is put to the near side of the field. Get an idea of the uh, violence there on the field as Pete Moore, 42, and Gillibut, 32. Fred Brister. The He's statistics of the first half, a uh, very close ball game, as you can see. First downs, Mississippi 6 to 5. Mississippi out rushing Alabama and out passing them. Offensive plays, 18 for Mississippi, 19 for Alabama. Strangely, Alabama had the ball 8 minutes and 49 seconds of the first 15 minutes. Mississippi having it 6 minutes and 11 seconds. With the ball near the 42, it's third down and 5 for Alabama. Score tied, 7 seconds. Forward progress to about the 46 of Mississippi. David Bailey caught the Scott Hunter pass. Wick Neely on the tackle. And it appears that in order to stop Scott Hunter, you've got to get to him before he throws the ball. From the 46 now, Alabama. In Mississippi territory, first down. 13 minutes to go in the first half. 7-7, Manager to the near side. Here's Scott Hunter sliding along the line, hoping that Larry Thomas, 41, was there. Herod, 78, and uh, Hap Farber, number 47. Let's watch it again in slow motion. You can see the defensive end waiting, watching, reading. Hunter comes out with the ball, starts up the field, and Farber moves in to make the tackle. All right, back live now. With the ball, uh, let's call it the 43 of Mississippi. Reiniger to the far side, number 88. Really opposite, second and seven. Gillibo, the fullback. And Gillibo has moved to the 35 of Ole Miss. I think as the play started, it looked like uh, Mississippi was going to get the rush on Hunter. But whenever you come through quite that cleanly against a team that blocks as well as Alabama, you have to assume that perhaps the screen is up as it was that time. Number 40 in white is Joe Blunt. 36 is Glenn Campbell. Cannon, rather. Hunter now has thrown nine times, completed eight for 87 yards. Manning of Mississippi is six of nine. And with the ball at the 36-yard line, First and ten for the Crimson Tide. Richard Grammer centering the ball now to Hunter. Moore. Harrod was there again, number 78. Isn't he a fine lineman? The split end, Hunter Husband, or pardon me, the tight end, Hunter Husband, continues to split out. And that is keeping the defensive secondary of Mississippi a little further from the ball than they normally would be playing and has broken down a little bit the ability to trade off as receivers come down the field. Hunter talking to Bear Bryant in this the centennial year of college football with time out the score Mississippi 7 Alabama 7. 77 yard drive by Alabama 74 by Mississippi now Alabama with a second and nine at the Mississippi 35 Scott Hunter. Ranniger. Let's see where the linesman will mark his forward progress as his lateral movement. Let's watch it in dual isolation. Scott Hunter on the left of your screen, dropping back. George Ranniger at the right of the screen, starting downfield. He runs a cross field pattern here as the halfback broke down the middle. As you can see, he was wide open on the crossing pattern. 
And he continued to move across the field and looked like for a moment as Mississippi boys ran into each other he might be able to break for daylight. Now big but down third and three tackle Todd. coming up. Third down and three. Jill about. Larry Thomas again number 41 joined by number 40. Joe Blunt. Well. It is fourth down. As you can see and you see the ball is at about the 27. Fourth down as we look at the stakes it's fourth and a little more than one yard. Every play is a big play but some are a little bigger than others. <laughs> Bailey now to the near side of the field. And Pete Moore carried the ball. Quite close to that first down at the Mississippi 27. Wick Neely the Ole Miss defense and Joe Blunt. Bill. This is going to be very close. Down here where football is a way of life at least three months out of the year the Ole Miss defense has held on down to the offensive unit races out at Legion Field from the 26 yard line they will have a first and ten. Archie Manning at quarterback with a score tied seven all. Less than ten minutes to go in the first half. Did he trap it or did he catch it in flight? Floyd Franks. It is a reception. And listen to the fans here at Legion Field. It's amazing how similar the tactics in the passing game are of both teams. The wide receivers going downfield as the inside men break to the flat and then hooking back to the inside in front of their halfback. That was 11 yards. First down. Franks now to the near side of the field for Mississippi. From the 37, the Rebels. Mm. Wally Myers was over there, but uh, Manning was rushed so hard that he was fortunate to get the uh, ball away as Robin Parkhouse put the rush. And now, let's see. Bear Bryant over there. And he's having a little disagreement with the officials, Chris. Twenty six of Alabama is Mike Dean. And Mike uh, did not think that he interfered. Well the referee Jim Artley now with that football. And he's going to head in a direction that is toward the Alabama defense. Moves the ball in Alabama territory, a personal foul against the Crimson Tide. First down at the Alabama 48. Mississippi with the ball now. The score tied 7 all. 9.24 to go. First half. Lloyd Franks the split end to the near side. The wing back is Riley Myers at the top of your screen. And this is the home, one of the home ballparks for Alabama. And with Mississippi on offense, they couldn't hear the signal. Let's watch the play here in slow motion. As you can see, the ball was way, way thrown, and number 26 of Alabama comes in, and the ball is out of play, and the Mississippi receiver is out of bounds, and he did hit him, and that was a personal foul penalty that cost Alabama 15 yards. Each Saturday on ABC, college football in its centennial year. With timeout, the score... Mississippi 7, Alabama. Go with confidence. Okay, get it again. On the left, the Alabama defense, which in two games has allowed only 27 points. Following a personal foul against Alabama, it's first and 10 for Ole Miss at the Alabama 48 with a score tied. Lloyd Frank split to the far side. Archie Manning of Mississippi. Rally Myers. And how is that for a sure tackle? Let's watch it again. Riley Myers is the wing back. He starts downfield. 
breaking to the outside into the flat area and he certainly looked like he was going that way then stopped and came back and caught the ball thrown right at the letters. Archie Manning now with a second and six at the Alabama 44. More yardage for the Reds. That sophomore Jim Poole hit by number 26 Mike Dean and 41 Danny Gilbert. A little Alabama cheerleader. Alabama is adjusting their defense as you can see from the 4-4 to the 5-2. They're trying to stunt in the middle but thus far they have not been able with any consistency to get through to force the passer and break down the timing of the plays. Measurement for the first down failed by about the length of a football as Manning of Mississippi has thrown 12 times. He's completed nine for 76 yards. The Alabama counterpart junior Scott Hunter. He has completed nine of ten. 22 is Bo Bowen in the backfield. 24 is Randy Reed. Raleigh Myers the wing back. Number 86. Split in is Floyd Franks coming to the near side of the field on third down and inches. Bo Bowen. Number 22. And Olmez keeps it drive alive with its eighth first down. Everything is even. The score, 7-7. Seven, seven. First downs, eight apiece. And the swing of the game being who can maintain possession of the ball as both teams move very consistently well on offense. That's Manning. Myers and Frank set away from the line. And this is Floyd Franks of Biloxi, Mississippi. The first bootleg play that we have had, the backfield taking to the top of your screen, Manning coming off to the opposite side, getting isolated one-on-one -on -one coverage to set up the reception. To the 25, a 13-yard gain, another first down, nine for Mississippi, eight for Alabama, seven to seven with seven minutes, 42 seconds remaining in the first half. Mississippi in the white. That's Myers in motion. Good faking. That was Floyd Franks, number 87 in white, but tried to get high enough to pull it down. The rush was on Manning. Let's watch it again. Franks starting down the field, sort of drifting. And you can see that he's being watched there very, very carefully by number 26, Mike Dean. He broke to the inside and then went up for the ball but it was a little bit overthrown and also well covered no chance on the play. The Rebels from Ole Miss at the ball at the Alabama 25 second down and 10 now. Franks the split end to the far side. I the man in motion. Now. Manning the Phelps. He made a pretty good little move there <laughs> and quickness on the part of Leon Phelps. And now Ole Miss has uh, come near the Alabama 10. Can you get a fine ball carrier in the open field without any angle on him as Gilbert uh, was in position that time coming up where he could go both ways. It's a very difficult play to make the tackle. 103 yards now passing for Manning at the 11 first and 10. Out of bounds at the seven. Leon Feltz, number 27. So it'll be second down and six. Jim Duke and Steve Higginbotham covering on the play. And another outstanding block by Bo Bowen on the defensive end. Yes. But we're getting uh, quite a preview for next Saturday afternoon's game from Dallas, Texas, Oklahoma. Are your nerves ready for that one? It's an old statement, but still true. They came to play. All right, with the ball at the seven now. Manning into Riley Myers. A loose ball. Paul Wilson, number 70, was over that ball in a flash. There he is. And a drive by the Rebels is stalled. Let's watch it again in slow motion. It looks like Myers is going to make it all the way into the end zone. It was a double wing formation. Myers breaking to the outside. 
as Franks breaks to the outside. It appears here that he's going to make it into the end zone, and he has really double teamed here. There goes the ball. He tries to reach for it, but can't quite get it. Alabama comes in and done for Paul Motion, rather, making the recovery for them. Danny Gilbert breaking it loose as the offensive team of Alabama moves from its own four across the 10 yard line. Johnny Musso, number 22, the ball carrier, coming up to about the 12 yard line. And Glenn Cannon makes the tackle where we now have a second down and two for the Crimson Tide. 7 7 the score. And when you are a coach and you go to bed at night, you can see that play in slow motion indelibly. <laughs> Musso getting a workout tonight from his quarterback Scott Hunter. And there's the man that recovered the fumble. He's getting first class treatment off the bench on the far side of the field. Alabama using their goal line offense to try to get a first down from inside their own 10 by using their Y formation in the belly plate. Now with the ball at the 14 now. It's a third down and a yard. Scott Hunter on a keeper tried to get the necessary yardage. First down, Alabama. Blunt and Morrow making tackles. As you see, time remaining in the first half, and don't forget the bands. We said there's a battle between quarterbacks, the two coaches, the two teams. And there's quite a battle with which of the two schools has the prettiest co -ed. We'll let Bud Wilkinson be the judge of that. Beautiful defensive play by Dennis Coleman. You can see him take on the Alabama back and knock him back into the backfield to close the hole. But Bud, what about the co-ed? Looks to me, Chris, like it's a tie. You've been saying how everything was even, and it appears that that's <laughs> true in that case also. <laughs> okay, Charlie. Now at the 15-yard line. Second down. Hunter. Nice little pitch out. Boy, that could go. And the lad from Viridian, Mississippi, George Ranninger, playing for Alabama. Let's watch it again in slow motion. It's the triple option play from the Y formation. The inside fake to the fullback, the pitch back, and here's Ranninger. Musso leading him. Now he picks up a block from Bailey. He's got daylight. Appears like he might make it all the way, but he's pulled down from behind. 67 yards to the Mississippi 18, first down Alabama. Gillava getting a yard or two, number 32 in the Crimson jersey. Number 45 in on the play, and 43, Alan LeBlanc, the sophomore. 45 being uh, Armstrong. Now, now the ball is at the 17-yard line where it'll be second down and nine. As we look at Bear Bryant, we have a timeout here at Legion Field in Birmingham, and the score is Mississippi 7. Al in a real good taste, yeah, me and my Winstons, we got a real good thing. George Ranniger has uh, set up great field position for Alabama with a beautiful 67-yard run. And I want to point out that in two games, Ranniger has rushed the ball only three times and has scored two touchdowns. So uh, now it's second down and nine at the 17-yard line of Mississippi. Alabama with the ball. The score tied, 7-all. 4.28 remaining in the first half. David Bailey to the left. Scott Hunter to Leon Bubba Sawyer touchdown Alabama sophomore Bubba Sawyer beautiful ball handling by Hunter 96 yards five plays a 17 yard scoring play by Sawyer who is a broadcasting major at Alabama from Fairhope, Alabama. And he is quite a happy boy as we now have Mike Dean to try the point after. Frank Mann will hold up and good.
Well, the 7-7 tie has been broken. As you see, Alabama recovering a Mississippi fumble at about the two-yard line. Takes advantage of the opportunity. Let's watch the triple option again going to the top of your screen. The ball has been pitched back. And you can see a beautiful block by Muso. And when you get that kind of blocking, it's very simple to carry the ball. But Sawyer knew where that goal line was, too, and he made no mistake about getting into the end zone. Beautiful execution of the triple option by Alabama for the score. Yes, but as you indicated, Johnny Musso, the sophomore back with a good block, as now Mississippi awaits the Alabama kick. Kickoff man is Semini. Moving to the ball. And going back, Vernon stuttered in the end zone, his speedster, but decides not to come out of the end zone. So to come out to the 20 yard line. Now Miss has 4.17 on the clock here in the first half. I think it's a tribute to the offensive strength of both teams that we've had two punts with only four minutes and 17 seconds remaining of the first 30 minutes of play. But I uh, get the indication that this is the kind of football you love. I think everybody does, Chris. <laughs> right. Lloyd Franks for Mississippi is the split end of the near side. Myers is a flanker from the 20. First down, Archie Manning. A bullet. Fine reception by Franks, number 87. And then a turn up field where Steve Higginbottom and Bill Blair stop him. And uh, the forward progress for a first down is stopped at the 34. I think that that play is very indicative of how difficult it is to defend the pass when it's thrown perfectly. The inside turn and the ball delivered numeral high with the receiver's back between himself and the defender. Stuttered is the flanker to the far side. Archie Manning. And he is moved near midfield. A 16-yard run as a marker goes down. Archie Manning wanted to hit Stuttered. Covered, however, so he carries it himself. I don't believe it was a marker, Chris. I believe that one of the linemen lost the towel that he carries to keep his hands dry. Temperature now about 70 degrees. Beautiful night in Birmingham. Manning has carried the ball six times for 50 yards. And out the 49, it's a first down as Ole Miss is battling back. Trailing 7 to 14 with about three and a half to go in the first half. Manning. Oh, he, uh, he's like a thoroughbred racehorse. They had the pressure on him. It looked as though there was no way he could get out of it. And all he did was pick up a first down. The young man from Drew, Mississippi, has now set up his reps at the Alabama, let's call it the 33-yard line. And it's a Mississippi first and 10 seconds to go in the first half. It appears that Alabama's moved their tackles out a little wider to stop Mississippi wide, but thus far they've not been able to do so. Manning going to the air. Intended for Floyd Franks. You know, Bud, we've been uh, super in imposing a lot of scores of all uh, types of colleges and universities. And I just want to point out today that Slippery Rock defeated Shippensburg 34 to 31. I'm very happy. Yes. Right here with 305 remaining in the first half, it is Alabama 14, Mississippi 7, with the ball in the Alabama 33. It's a second down and 10. And time has been called on the field. And more scores. Rutgers continues to win, beating Cornell 21 to 7. Yale walloping Colgate. Dan Devine dancing in Columbia. And Purdue coming from behind to beat Stanford, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> All right, second down and 10, 305 left in the first half. Mississippi. Ooh, pretty. Stuttered. And in on the play, number 49, Steve Higginbottom and Mike Dean. Watch it again in slow motion. The swing by Manning is to the bottom of your screen. Beautiful inside fake. The break to the outside. Stuttered is wide open as he catches the ball. Watch him spin here. And he thought that for a moment he had gotten away, but his knee hit the ground and he was down. First and 10 at the 13. Manning. That was 
is Randy Reed, who, despite the footsteps from number 26, Mike Dean, tried to get more yardage as Manning now has thrown 21 times, completing 16. Hunter is 9 of 10 for Alabama. And that clock is moving. 2.14 in the first half. Alabama leads 14 to 7. Second down and 8. Whistle's blowing. I believe the problem, Chris, was the marker on the sidelines had the third down up instead of second down. Right. One of the officials saw it. And it was a little different than second down and eight, too. The difference between second and eight and third and eight, believe me. <laughs> Archie Manning, number 18. Six, three and a half, 198 pounds. Vernon Studdard is number 81. Second down and eight. What a defensive play by Alabama's Wayne Rhodes and Robin Parkhouse. It's the first time that Alabama has gotten to the Mississippi quarterback Manning. They did it by bluffing that the end was dropped off and then just before the ball was snapped Rhodes moved up on the line of scrimmage took the inside rush and went home free. The two great bands of the South. Million Dollar Band of Alabama. Great band the Rebs from Oxford Mississippi will entertain minute 16 to go. Third and 17 from the 26 Mississippi trailing 14 7. They have the ball. What a bullet. It appears to be complete inside the 10-yard line. Aren't these two fine quarterbacks that you're seeing Let's watch, it. Let's watch it again in slow motion. He truly drilled this one. Way on the outside. Frank's cutting now across the middle. And watch this ball come in right at the belt buckle. <laughs> and really Bud, drilled it. And Bud, now we have a measurement to see whether it's a first down. They needed 17 yards, and ooh, is it close. They didn't make it, so that brings up a fourth down and inches with 55 seconds left in the first half. Alabama leading 14 to 7. And unofficially, they have three timeouts remaining. Well, they have marched up and down the length of the football field. If they can cap this one, it'll be an 80 yard drive. Archie Manning, fourth down, remember. And his forward progress, it's measured where the plane of the ball, it's most forward point. So the linesman who was there, Randy Reed, lugged the leather. Paul Bushung and Jim Duke, the tackles, tried to stop him and. They obviously did not make it. Yes, uh, Alabama penalty. had a illegal motion penalty, which was refused by Alabama because they had not picked up the first down on the play. All right. So with 35 seconds remaining in the first half, Alabama's defense, which Bear Bryant is worried about all year. There's the time remaining. Alabama leading 14 to 7. Buzz Morrow. Defensively for Old Miss, number 70. This is the first time I think that we've had any lack of excitement as Alabama is simply running off the clock to end the first half. And still 11 seconds, now 10. And Hunter just hangs on to the ball. Nearly wanting now to get into the locker room at halftime. There they go. Bama's kicking off to Ole Miss to start the third quarter. Simony boots it all the way to the five. Overdyke gets it on the bounce and comes racing upfield. He's out to the 35 before the tide can hem him up and bring him down. On first down, Manning rolls out. Here's good pressure from James. He fires incomplete intended for Phelps. Second and ten, Manning rolls this way. He finds Franks, complete to the 48, a pickup of 13, first down Ole Miss. 
Rebels roll right this time, but Manning cannot connect with Reed just behind the line. Second and 10, pretty much a straight drop back. Manning over the middle to Bowen. Husband and Higginbotham slam him down at the Bama 49. It's third and seven. Archie works the draw to perfection. Feltz is loose. He rips his way 21 yards to the Bama 28. First down for the Rebels. Manning back. Floats one to Stuttered. He can't hang on at the 20. Second and 10. Here comes the draw again. Feltz fights his way for seven yards to the Bama 21. Third and three, Manning rolls right, looks and finds Stuttered again. This time he has it, goes to the Bama 12. Gilbert and Williams make the stop. First down for the Rebs. The middle puts pressure on Manning. He overthrows Stuttered in the end zone. Second down, Manning again back to pass. Again feels the heat. Duke and Beauchamp bring him down at the 10. So it's third and eight for the Rebels. Manning back, has pressure again, but coolly hits Franks at the two. Floyd takes it in for the touchdown. Archie takes the Rebs 65 yards in 11 plays. King kicks the extra point. We're all even at 14 apiece. Just 3.26 gone on the second half clock. Now it's King to kick off for Ole Miss. The ball bounces into the end zone. And the tie just downs it there. First and 10 from the 20, Hunter gives it to Musso. Only a couple of yards on the play. Second and eight, Hunter drops back. Flips it to Musso in the flat. Ole Miss is there to stop him at the 25. So it's third and five for the Tide. Hunter back to pass, looks, and throws it just off the fingertips of Bailey, bringing up fourth down. That brings in man to punt. And he gets off a short kick, but he gets a good roll all the way to the Ole Miss 28. 47 yards on the punt. On first down, Manning drops back. He loops one to Franks along the sideline. Too high, incomplete. Second and 10, Manning goes with belts up the middle. He's to the 32 before James grabs him for the tie. Third and six, Manning rolls right, firing for Franks. Bama just misses the interception, so it's fourth down and the Rebels have to kick it again. The punt drives Dean back to his 30. He picks it up, manages to bring it back seven. From the 37, first down for Bama. Hunter's back and throwing a long way. It's complete to Raniger at the 25. George goes out of bounds at the Ole Miss 16. Plays good for 47 yards and a first down deep in Rebel territory. Musso gets the call and gets a couple down to the 14. Second and eight, Hunter drops back. He's looking for Bailey. David has it at the Ole Miss five. Nine yards on the completion, first and goal for Bama. Hunter hands it to Musso. He nudges it forward to the three. Second and goal, Hunter the option, the toss to Raniger, Musso and Bailey throw blocks. George gets it to the one. So it's third and goal for the tied Musso behind Gillibut. Johnny over the top for the touchdown. Bama goes 63 yards in six plays. Dean's on to kick the extra point. It's good, and the tide's up 21-14. Six minutes, 34 seconds left in the third quarter. Simony kicks off again for Bama. He boots another long one. The Rebels have to down it in the end zone. They'll have it first and 10 at their own 20. Bowen takes it right up the middle. He gets five. James drags him down. Second and five. Manning passes to Franks at the 32. Sidesteps the defender. He's all the way to the Bama 45 before Blair knocks him out of bounds. 30 yards and a first down for Ole Miss. Archie's rolling out right. Tosses to Bowen, but he can't hold on to the football. Second and 10. Manning is back. He gets pressure. Rolls right and throws, but Stuttered is out of bounds. So it's third down for the Rebels. 
Manning's back. Fires it right down the middle. Moore breaks on the ball. Intercepts it at the 32. He's bringing it back upfield. Looks like Feltz, who finally gets him down at the 50. Thanks to the pick, Bama has it first and 10 at midfield. Jellaba slides into Ole Miss territory. He has three to the 47. Second and seven. It's a little bit of a draw to Jellaba, but the Rebels drop him for a three-yard loss. Third and 10 at midfield. Hunter back to pass. Fakes. Now he fires for Bailey, but the Rebels break it up and force Bama to punt it away. Man's in to kick it, and his boot goes all the way into the end zone. It'll be first and 10 for Ole Miss at the 20. Rebels stay on the ground. Feltz up the middle for five to the 25. Second and five, Manning back to pass, stands his ground and fires it long to full. He has it all the way at the Bama 30. Blair finally brings him down 45 yards on the reception. Manning rolls right again. He throws it to Franks. Floyd has it at the Bama 17. Another 13 yards, another first down for the Rebels. Manning rolls to the near side this time, looks to pass, but here goes Archie on the run again. Away from tacklers, 17 yards all the way to the end zone. King's on to kick it. The point after is no good. So Bama's still on top, 21-20 with two and a half to go in the third quarter. Legion Field is rocking now as Ole Miss kicks it off. C takes it at the eight yard line, but Rebel coverage is gonna bring him down at the 16. First down for the Tide, Hunter gives it to Mort. No gain on the play. Second and 10, Scott drops back to pass. He just misses Moore out here along the near sideline. Now Bama needs a big play on third down. Hunter stands in there, looks, finds Steve Doran over the middle. He hangs on, goes to the 38. 22 yards on the play, first down Bama. Now Hunter gives it to Shape, and he really has to work to get it back to the line of scrimmage. So it's second and 10 for the tie. Hunter drops back. He loops one to Moore, but he's stopped back at the 33, a five-yard loss on the play. Third and 15, time for another good one. Hunter back to pass. Again, he's looking toward Doran. He has it, and he slammed down immediately at the 47, a yard shy of the first down. Man shifts into punt formation as the tide is going to kick it away on fourth down. Man gets off a high kick. Bama is down on the coverage. Ball goes out of bounds at the 14, and we're out of time in the third quarter. Our score is Alabama 21, Ole Miss 20. In just... Ole Miss starts the fourth quarter from its own 14. Manning rolls to throw. Now he's running out to the 21. Bama finally stops him after a pickup of seven yards. On second and three, Manning rolls this way. Bama there with a the pressure. But he gets the pass away to Feltz. Dean breaks it up for the tie. Third down, Ole Miss needs three yards. Feltz on the handoff, squirts through to the 24. First down, Rebels. Straight drop back for Manning. This time fires to Franks. He bobbles for a moment, then turns up field. Higginbotham's there for Bama, but Franks has 14 and a first down at the 38. Deep drop for Manning this time, and a deep throw for Archie. He has stuttered open at the Bama 25. Only Dean has a chance to stop him. He drags stuttered down at the six. Play covers 56 yards. First and goal for Ole Miss. Bowen drives off left tackle. He's down to the Bama two. On second down, Bowen tries again. Bama meets him behind the line, back at the three. Third and goal. Manning rolls out this way and finds Myers open in the end zone. Rebels go 86 yards and eight plays for the touchdown. Ole Miss up by five, so the Rebels go for two. Manning throws to Feltz. It's incomplete. Dean on the coverage. Still, Ole Miss is ahead of Alabama 26-21 with 12.02 to play. King kicks it off for the Rebels. It bounces to Musso at the 18. Johnny manages to get it back to the 32. First and 10 for Bama. Jellaba on the handoff. Pete gets four yards to the 36. Second and six. Musso right up the middle. Johnny's out to the 39. 
third and three. Hunter rolling this way with the option. Scott keeps it himself, gets four, close to the first down. Chain gang comes on. Hunter says it's first down. Now the official agrees. Hunter the option again, this time to Jalaba. He trips but manages three to the 46. For the first time this drive, Hunter's going to the air. Bailey's open downfield. He has the football at the Ole Miss 43. Ten yards and a first down for the tie. Hunter drops back to pass again. This time it's Sawyer hauling it in at the Ole Miss 12-yard line. That's a gain of 31. Ty trailing for the first time is knocking on the door. Back to the ground, Hunter tosses to Ranniger. George has a big hole and slips through to the seven. Second and five, Musso bangs his way inside the five, down to the three. Bamini's a yard for a first down three for the touchdown. Hunter takes the snap from Grammer, follows him to the one. First and goal for Bama. This close, same play. Hunter over the top. The officials finally say yes. The Bama drive goes 67 yards in 10 plays. Coach Bryant says go for two. Hunter tries to pass it to Simmons. He's looking, finds him in the end zone, but Jeff Horn intercepts for Ole Miss. Still, Alabama's on top, 27-26, 7.43 left to go in this one. Simony to kick off again for Bama. He boots it short this time to Feltz at the 17. He comes to the near sideline and brings it all the way out to the 35-yard line. You know Manning's going to pass on first down. He drops back and finds Studdard open again at the Bama 22. It's complete. Good for 43 yards. The Rebs are threatening again. Manning's back to throw, gets pressure from Bama, takes off running, gets by a tackler, looks like he's going to score, but Blair knocks him out of bounds inside the one. First and goal. Manning sneaks it in himself. The Rebels have gone 65 yards in just three plays in only 28 seconds. Now the two-point attempt. Manning this way. Archie throws one of his few bad passes. Two-point try fails. Ole Miss leads 32-27 with 7.15 to go in the game. This time King sails the kickoff through the end zone. So Bama has it first and 10 at its own 20. Todd has to go 80 yards for a win. Hunter's back to pass. Has plenty of time. Look at the catch by Bailey in traffic. Balls at the 29. Second and one. Jellaba right up the gut. Look at Pete Hall at 16 yards. He goes to a Bama first down at the 45. Hunter's back to pass again, throwing for the touchdown. Hunter Husband's down there, but this pass is just too long. Second and 10, Hunter again to pass. Into Ole Miss territory to Doran. He's hit immediately at the Rebel 40. It's a gain of 15 on the play. First and 10, time short, Hunter back to pass. He fires a perfect strike to Bailey. He's down to the 28, another first down for the Tide. Bama's really rolling now. Hunter drops back. Coleman sacks him all the way back at the 35. Just a temporary setback, though, as Hunter fades to throw again. He hits Bailey for the third time in this drive. This one's good for 20 yards and a first down at the Ole Miss 15. After five straight passes, Bama goes on the ground. Radiger on the flanker around. Ole Miss there to stop him for no gain. From the 15, it's second and 10. Hunter's back. Looks deep for Simmons. He has it, but takes a blow from the Rebels, and it's incomplete. Third down. Hunter under heavy pressure this time. He just gets rid of the ball, fires it incomplete. So it's fourth and ten, and every screaming fan in Legion Field knows that Hunter's going to pass. He does. Looking for Raniger. He finds George at the goal line. He has it. 
Touchdown, Alabama. The Tide's on top, 33-32. The 11-play drive went 80 yards in just over three and a half minutes. Bama to go for two. Hunter throwing for husband. He leads him just a little too much. Conversion tries no good. But Bama's up by one, 33-32 with 3.42 to go. One last time, Bama kicking off. Duke bounces it off a surprise. Neely on the front line for Ole Miss. Wild scramble for the ball. Rebels get it in great position at their own 46. Manning rolls out to the far side with Sample chasing him. Archie throws. Duke tips it for the tide. It's incomplete. Second and 10. Manning back. Duke and Rhodes chasing. Samples dumps him at the line. It's third and 10. This time Manning drops straight back. He hits Pool in Bama territory. Tide stops him just inside the 45 and very close to the first down. Chains are out. Rebs are about a foot short. Ole Miss has to go for it. Manning takes the snap, but the Tide defenders have penetrated. Beauchamp makes one of the biggest tackles of the night. Bama takes over on downs. And yes, these guys in Crimson are excited. And so is the sellout crowd of mostly Bama fans as we near midnight. On first down, Musso sweeps right. Rebels slam him down for no gain. Second and 10, here comes Musso on the sweep again to the far side. This time, Johnny gets around the corner. He's almost to midfield before he's finally stopped. It's third and six. Hunter to Musso for a third straight time. Johnny piles his way into Rebel territory, but he's still short of the first down. for Ole Miss. And this is another tough decision. It's very close to the first down. You know, to give you an idea how these two quarterbacks have performed, but the NCAA record for the most completions in one game by two quarterbacks is 53, set by University of Texas El Paso and Brigham Young. Right now, we have had 51 of 74 by the two quarterbacks here tonight. And it's fourth down and uh, about a yard and a half to go, setting up a punting situation for Alabama. Mississippi has one timeout remaining. Two quarterbacks in their great traditions, uh, Kenny Stabler, uh, Joe Namath at Alabama, Charlie Connerly, Glenn Griffin, and a host of others at Ole Miss. And there is Scott Hunter right now, number 12. And uh, fourth down, a punting situation. Man, Frank Man, the punt. Belts and Studdard are deep. A low pass, kick it off. A minute 56 to go. Wow. Raniger. Downing that ball for the Crimson Tide, and boy, Ole Miss has its work cut out for it. Following a 42-yard punt, they are back at their five, and they have a minute 48 in which to uh, erase a one-point deficit. And Alabama will probably go to their prevent defense, which is four men rushing, five men man-to-man, -man, and then two men playing deep. First and ten for Mississippi, trailing by one, 33 to 32. Archie Manning calling signal from the five in his own end zone throws short intended for Floyd Franks covering on the play Mike Dean and Wayne Rhodes so it'll be second down and ten for the Rebs at their own five 142 to go Stutter 81 to the near side Franks is opposite. And Stutter couldn't hang on to it. Number 41 covering for Alabama was Danny Gilbert. And now you know you're just two plays away from victory, and you hope that you can stop them on the next two snaps if you're an Alabama rooter. And of course, if you're pulling for Old Miss, this is the do or die down. Third down and ten. Franks to the far side. There's Manning. <laughs> Lou 
losing his footing. Leon Feltz, number 27, a minute 20 to go. And that brings up fourth down for the Rebs at the three-yard line, fourth and 12. 33-32 Alabama and the Crimson Jerseys here at Legion Field in Birmingham with a one-point lead. And we have number 89, Jim Poole Jr. coming in to call the play from the sidelines on fourth down. All the way, fourth down and 12 from the three. Manning throwing out here. That's Riley Myers. Myers knocked out of bounds. And it's enough for the first down, Old Miss. And the clock is stopped with 39 seconds to go. He stayed alive. All right. The ball at the 18 on a 15-yard play. They needed 12. And there is time left, 39. Coach yeah. to her Brown. And unofficially, we have one more timeout remaining for Mississippi. Alabama dropping their three deep men way back now, trying to prevent the long gainer at all costs. Manning. Three receivers out. Manning. Tried to unload it. But a good rush by 83, Ken James in the Crimson Jersey and number 82, Wayne Rhodes, with 29 seconds to go. Alabama in the three-man rush that time. The Linebackers back about 10 yards. The other three men back about 35 yards. It's going to be very difficult for Ole Miss to break one all the way against that pattern. Now, as you look at Scott, number 12, and Coach Paul Bear Bryant, it's second down and 10. 29 seconds to go. Ole Miss trailing by one. Floyd Franks to the far side. Double coverage on the end. Ken James was in on the quarterback who got it off to uh, number 22, Bo Bowen. 15 seconds to go. Uh, flag down on the field. The officials conferring now. Jim Artley, Cliff uh, Norvell, N.M. Uh, Cavett, Doug Mosley, John Rain, and Morrison Harrison. Face mask violation. And we know what that means. With 15 seconds to go, here is the signal. Personal foul. Face mask violation. And it moves the ball just beyond the 33. A first and 10 for Mississippi. And one, one long ball and one field goal. Buddy Jones, 84, is in the lineup. Is split into the near side. Frank's 87 is to the far side. Pass blocking, set up. There goes the pass to Franks. He's got it. No. Uh, yes, he has. Inbound at the Alabama, 48 with eight seconds on the clock. And one more like that, Chris, if they can do it in less than eight seconds, would give them the field goal opportunity. Back at the 49-yard line. There you see the score, Alabama 33, Mississippi 32. College football. Several years breaking all attendance records in games like this. One of the reasons why. Studded to the far side now. And Manning. And trying to get out of bounds was Floyd Franks. And time has run out on the Rebels of Mississippi. There you see. No time remaining. The game is over. A tremendous try to again come from behind by the Rebels. The Alabama has won it 33 to 32 in a series that began back in 1894. And once again, we'll give you the final score. Alabama 33, Mississippi 32. As our thanks go to our spotter, Bill Creel, our Statistician Jerry Capstein, Manning leaves along with Bruiser Kennard. And now this is Chris Shankle, along with Bud Wilkinson and Bill Fleming saying, Come along, Legion Field in Birmingham, Alabama. This has been 
an ABC television network sports presentation. Two men of steel clash. Watch Harold Robbins, the survivors, starring George Hamilton, Lana Turner, and Ralph Bellamy, Monday night at 9, 8 o'clock Central Time. Followed by Love American Style, guest starring Artie Johnson, Alice Ghostly, and Larry Storch, Monday on ABC. The attack trailing Mississippi in white, 32 to 27. Very exciting game. Let's go to Chris Schenkel. Like yourself. Now it's fourth down and 10 at the 15, Alabama. They go for it. All right. Oh, look at that. Scott Hunter to George Roniger for the winning TD. The penalty against Mississippi was declined as Alabama won a thriller 33 to 32. This is just one of the big stories on college football today. Hi, everybody. I'm Bud Palm along with Merle Harmon. And what a game tonight, huh? <laughs> oh, one of the great games that we've been able to present over the years on ABC television. Tell me, Merle, do you think the offense is ahead of the defense in college football? Wait until you see the scores that we're going to present tonight, and I think it'll answer that question. Some of the wildest games that we have had all year, and we'll be presenting all the scores for you on college football today right after this message. Last Tuesday, Olive, a senior VP, and cantankerous Walnut were discussing retirement plans over a cup of coffee when Hat, a Lincoln National financial planner, stopped by. Just the man we need, said Olive. Uh, said Walnut. He's just an insurance man. That and more, said Hat. I coordinate your assets to plan the future you want. Fish feathers. How? First, I determine your assets. Next, I work in your future plans. Then I ask our Lincoln computers for a program to match your needs. Life insurance. Sneered Walnut. Not entirely. After all, at Lincoln, we have a great range of financial plans for sophisticated people like Olive. He probably needs a combination of annuities, an estate plan, investments, life insurance, savings. Keeping yourself in good shape is the best protection you can have. Just then, a rampaging nutcracker seized Walnut and smashed him into seven small pieces. Lincoln National Financial Planning is very comforting if you get caught in a squeeze. Let's start with scores in the East now. A sophomore dominated Texas A&M scored a touchdown late in the fourth quarter to upset Army this afternoon, 20 to 13. It was Boston College 28, Tulane 24, Kent State 17, Buffalo 8. Yankee Conference champions of last year met this afternoon with New Hampshire winning this one by a score of 14 to 6. More scores in the East is Yale 40, Colgate 21, Rutgers 21, Cornell 7. And in the Ivy League, Princeton 21, Columbia 7. Also in the Ivy League, Pennsylvania 23 and Brown 2. And that game, the third string sophomore quarterback for Penn, Phil Procassi, came into the ball game after the first two quarterbacks were injured, threw two touchdown passes, ran for 69 yards for another one as his team won it 23 to 2. Continuing with scores in the East, it was Dartmouth 38 and Holy Cross 6. Harvard had their unbeaten streak of 10 ended by Boston University as they were upset by BU. 13 to 10. It was Richmond 17, Virginia Tech as we moved down south, and Louisville 24 and Dayton 17. And sophomore quarterback Jack Reeves scored his ninth and tenth touchdown passes today in the three-game series so in the three-game season so far, as Florida defeated Florida State 21 to 6. And the thriller you saw this tonight, what a game! Alabama 33, Mississippi 32. And sophomore quarterback Pat Sullivan of Auburn threw four touchdown passes as Auburn knocked off Kentucky 44 to 3. And the game this evening, look at this score. Tennessee 55 and Memphis State 16. Continuing now with more scores, Georgia was finally scored upon, but they beat South Carolina comfortably 41 to 16. Clemson 21, Georgia Tech 10, these are all finals. Virginia 28, William and Mary 15, and LSU 63 and Baylor 8. They get higher and higher, don't they? In the South, more. North Carolina 38, Vanderbilt 22, and we have a zero here. West Virginia 32, VMI nothing. Pittsburgh won finally, 14 to 12 over Duke, and Maryland upset Wake Forest 19 to 14. We'll return with more of college football today in just a minute. Why do so many high-performance car owners prefer Esso Extra Gasoline to any other brand? Here's why. Esso Extra is blended to deliver smooth power. 
extra power from the instant you start to move. The quick, quiet power of the Tiger come alive. SO Extra is alive with power. That's why so many high-performance car owners insist on SO Extra gasoline. When their gas gauge points towards E, they always look for this sign. Now let's go to the Midwest where Notre Dame blasted Michigan State 42 to 28. Missouri walloped Michigan 40 to 17. Iowa State rolled over Illinois 48 to 20, and Syracuse defeated Wisconsin 43 to 7, and it was the 18th consecutive loss for Wisconsin. In other ball games, uh, Purdue from behind to beat Stanford 36 to 35. UCLA fourth straight win over Northwestern 36 to nothing. Nebraska 42, Minnesota 14, and Iowa knocked off Arizona 31 to 19. Moving along, Penn State 17, Kansas State 14, a good ball game. Toledo 34, Ohio University 9 in the Glass Bowl. Bowling Green 21, Western Michigan 10. And Oklahoma State 17, Texas Tech 10. Arkansas still undefeated, 24 to 6 winner over TCU. Look at this, 74 to nothing Houston over Mississippi State. Texas 56, Navy 17, New Mexico 16, and Kansas 7. Colorado 30, Indiana 7, an upset, of course. Wyoming 39, Colorado State 3. Arizona State is leading Brigham Young, and here's an update, 23 to nothing in the third quarter. And San Diego State blasted San Jose State, or is blasting San Jose State, 41 to 7 at halftime. Out west, Ohio State 41, and Washington 14. Southern Cal 31, Oregon State 7. A close one, Oregon 25, and Washington State 24 and California, 31, Rice, 21. And we'll have more on college football today right after this message. Let's see how strong a Firestone tire can get. Let's watch what happens when a pair of railroad engines weighing about 130 tons apiece crunch a Firestone 78, the new double-belted tire designed by Firestone for the 1970 cars. heavy steel rim is crumpled. The Deluxe Champion 78 comes through without a scratch because it's how you make a tire like this that makes it strong. And Firestone has a special way to bond the tread to the body, reinforce the sidewalls, and insulate every cord. That's Firestone's exclusive triple strength construction. The strong one. More mileage, more safety for your money with Firestone's triple strength construction. The 78 at Firestone Dealers and Stores. On ABC, next Saturday, 4 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time from the Cotton Bowl, Texas versus Oklahoma. Bud Palmer saying so long for Merle Harmer and myself. See you after that game. College football today has been brought to you by Firestone, the strong tires with exclusive triple strength construction and by the Lincoln National Life Insurance Company. Get complete financial planning in the Lincoln hat. This has been an ABC Television Network sports presentation.